السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is Mr. Ola B M A, BC Technology Teacher for JSS Theory. I want to welcome every one of you again to this e-learning class. How are you? Hope you are enjoying yourself at all. Let me use this medium to remind you of the assignment given to you, which to be submitted this Friday, 22/05/2022. Endeavor to submit on time. So I've only three students out of 32 have submitted. So any, so any submission after the deadline date, so the assignment will not be marked. Please, you need to take note of this. So thanks. Uh, this is week two in third term 2019-2020 academic section. So last week, we treated gears and its application, work example on gear ratio and speed of gear. And I'm sure now by now you have understand the calculation. So after the deadline date of the assignment, so we also do the correction in our class, inshallah. So today we are going to look at bent drive. So bent drive is basically an arrangement of two or more pulleys connected by one or more belts made of rubber, leather, or plastic to transmit power. So when we say bend drive, so this is an arrangement of two or more pulley. So, and it can be connected to any of these following materials, either rubber, leather, or plastic to transmit power. So the, fig the figure above is an example of what? Example of, a, of belts. So this is a flat belt, one of the type of belts. So you can see the pulley. So you have two pulley. And the rubber is used to tie this. So this is what that will be transforming what that what that will be that will be transmitting the power. So that is belt, an example, and is an example of cross section of a flat belt. So what we now what is the working principle of the belt drive? So what is the working principle? So how does it work? So working principle for the bend drive so is number one is for transmission of power or carrying load. Transmission of power or carrying load. So the movement of belt over the pulley is caused by friction, as we all know, which exists between the belt and the groove wall of the pulley. So the driving or the driver pulley is, is the one whose shaft is connected to the electric or fuel power motor of the, of the machine. So why the driven pulley is the one being driven by the driven, driving pulley and whose shaft is attached to the load side of the machine. So if you look at this, so we are trying to differentiate between the driving or driver pulley because we have two types of pulley in that belt. We have driver pulley and we have driven pulley. So the driver pulley is the one whose shaft is connected to the electric or fuel power motor of the machine. So why driven pulling is the one that is usually what is being what is being driven by the driven pulling. It is the, it is being driven by the driving pulling. It is the driver pulling that what that would drive the driven pulling and whose shaft is now attached to the load side of the machine. So it normally the driven pulley is normally attached what to the what to the to the load side of the machine. And like we said last week on when we are trying to explain gears too. So you know we made mention of driving gears and driver gears. So it is the driver gears that drive the dri dri driven gears. Also, that is what happened here too. So under this one, it is the driver pulling that will drive the driven pulling. So now period two, let's just look at the uses of belt drive. So the uses of belt drive, one of the uses of belt drive is uh, number one is to transmit power. It's to transmit power. So how? So the belt drive is used in grind using grinding machine to transmit power from what from the driven pulley to the driving pulley which then crushes pepper or anything put into the machine so that is how we can use this to transmit power as an example so also to carry load how the bed drive is used in machine called conveyor to carry load so this application is botanic companies in this, this is applicable in botany, botany companies to carry bottles from one point to, to, to the other. So if you go to, for example, like Coca-Cola uh, company, you see what I'm, you understand what I'm uh, trying to explain. So this is what is used in carrying load. So we make use of bent drive 
and carry this load. So in this, uh, maybe want to carry it from one place to another. So this is one of the uses of the pen drive. Also, to reserve the speed direction. To reserve the speed direction. How? When an open bed is crushed, the motion direction of the drive will be changed. When an open bed is crossed, because there are some beds that normally cross, cross each other. So when an open bed is crossed, then the motion direction of the driving will, not, will, not, will be changed from the normal motion. So that is all about the uh, uses of belt. So below is the figure, the diagram that represents the open bend drive and what? And the cross bed drive. The open bed drive. And the, so these are already being given to you in your notes. So you just need this, the revision class, as we all know, because JSS3 taught them is, is revision. So you go through the diagram. This can be drawn in an objective. They ask you what type of a uh, belt is this. This is open bed drive, bed drive, and this one is what? Cross, as you can see the belt, you can see this cross each other. So we call this one cross bed drive. Now type of driving belt. So we have driving bed, and we have the type. The type number one is what? Flat belt. These are used, used grinding. These are used in grinding machine, water pump, and electric generator. So this is where we can see flat belts. Why conveyor belts? These are used in manufacturing companies, e.g., mining, botany, or edible oil companies. So using it, they use it to carry load from one place to another, as we said earlier. So round belts. These are used in sewing machine. So. Down bed is used in sewing machine as we everybody we can we have all see sewing machine before. So round bed, that is an example of a round bed. We also have V beds. They are used in various automobile and marine engines. They are used in various automobile and marine. and also polygroove belt. These are used in power machine tools, such as uh, drilling press, milling machine, and lat machine. So we use polygroove bed in this and drilling machine. And when we are doing, uh, trying to do a uh, drilling process, a mining machine, and also a large machine. So these are what types of driving uh, belts. Now, let's now look at the advantages of the belt drives. What are wow. the advantages of the belt drive? It can transmit motion and power over long distance. It requires no lubrication and little maintenance. It is cheaper than all other similar devices and it, it has reduced noise and vibration. So its efficiency is sometimes as high as 95% depending on its design. So all these are, which have been given, this note have been given already in your note in GSS2, because as you all know, it's a, it's a revision class. So you just, we are just trying to remind ourselves, this can come out in your, you can come out in your exam. So we all know it. So, and also let's look at the disadvantages of belt drives. Low friction can easily cause slippage. The bed is due to friction undergoes wear and tear, which can easily cause the bed to break without noise. Friction is the system reduce. Friction in the system it reduces what efficiency. So these are the disadvantages of what the bed drives. So these are the questions that you are going to do as an assignment. I want you to copy it into the uh, assignment portal. So you will give me you will, uh, in your own word what is bed drive, and you mention any the application of bend drives and also you will sketch a typical bend drive and label it part you know number two you state any sys application of bend drive and three you state three advantages of bend drive just to practice you try to give me the solution to the question so next class to this one too you know i'm giving it to you on monday so you submit this one next week monday inshallah so i hope all we have been explaining since morning you all understand these are what we have been done we have done before in gss2 so you just need to remind ourselves and you read it. So you submit the assignment next week, Monday, inshallah. So may Almighty Allah spare our life the time. So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.